Today, we'll be doing a pumpkin generator. The goal is to generate uh, ASCII art pumpkins uh, with a program. So the idea is that uh, I didn't really prepare this session outside finding an ASCII art pumpkin to, to produce. So we'll be discovering the, the exercise together. I'll share my thought process uh, during the whole session. I believe this is the, the most interesting thing to, to, to do. Which language uh, you prefer me to use? So you can pick between uh, Ruby, Python, or C. Just so you know, I'm a main Ruby programmer. I also wrote a lot of C in the past, so it's been quite some time, and some Python as well from time to time. So for this first session of mine, I chose the only language I can I can write decently. But maybe in the future, for future session, we'll we'll pick some more esoteric ones. I think Python Python one. Won the won the contest, so we'll be doing we'll be doing Python today. Uh, all right, I didn't for Python for for quite some time, but uh, I guess uh, it's gonna be okay. So let's do this in Python. Uh, I'll switch the screen so you can see the code. I shall have a terminal a terminal right there, so we can test it. And let's do that. So this is the pumpkin I, I used. Uh, I will be using for reference. The, the the first step for for this program will be to to just try to to, to write that uh, to the terminal with uh, with the program, and then uh, we'll try to see what are the, the different parts of pumpkin. For example, we can have this part, and we can have uh, this part with the the thing uh, on the side, and this part where. Well, this is uh, this is flat, and we will have to to figure out uh, where the where the eyes go and the and the nose go and the mouth as well. So we we'll have to to figure it uh, all out. The the, the best first step, uh, in my opinion, is just to to try and uh, and, uh, and make a Python program which displays this exact pumpkin. So let's do that. Let's do it right. Okay. I think it's like that. Um, okay, looks good. I think it's something like that. This is just uh, just so if we include this file uh, in as another uh, Python uh, Python program, it doesn't uh, execute the code uh, when used as a module. So it's uh, just a thing in Python, if I remember correctly. Um, let's just try. Okay, not like that. Okay, uh, good. So let's print our pumpkin, which I'll define here. I think we have to do some nice tricks. Um, okay, so I'll just convert it to a string correctly formatted. That's um, awesome. Not what I wanted. Do we have to do that? I don't need, even need to include that. I guess we can just. some commas as well at the, at the end. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Just 
just a section, please. Okay. So, I think I can then join. Not sure if this is the way. Okay, no, it's not this way. It's a string method, so we have to do that. And give it, so basically what, what I'm doing here is just joining this array of strings, which each represents a line of the pumpkin uh, with uh, the new line uh, character. So the pumpkin uh, should be displayed correctly. Um, and we'll see this right now. I'm going to try. OK, so it works. Oh, someone suggesting to put triple quotes. Uh, I believe this is the syntax to to use if we, um, if we want to keep it. Uh, so I can, uh, I'll try that. I think it's a better way to do that. Okay, works well. Um, much better and nicer to use that. Uh, so, what we'll be doing now, uh, as I told, uh, I, I want to be split to be splitting the, the pumpkin in different parts. Uh, first of all, I will align all of that. Uh, I guess I can do that. Okay. So this is aligned um, to the beginning of the of the scene. Okay, perfect. Uh, looks good. So um, as I said, we'll be splitting the pumpkin in different parts. Uh, I'll just start by uh, making different variables for, for, for the parts, and then we'll, uh, we'll try to, uh, to, to enhance that to, uh, to generate the, the shapes uh, by, with uh, math and code. Um, so let's do that. Um, first of all, just to give us a little structure where we can work with uh, outside the main function. Uh, I write a class name pumpkin generator. Um, with a generate method. Um, I guess the best way will be the generate method will will be uh, returning a string. Uh, and then we can just print the return of the generic method from the main function. Uh, that feels nice, so we'll replace that. Um, so, as I said, I, I will be printing, uh, generating different parts at, at different times and different places in the code, so so we can. Uh, make it uh, evolve uh, just after that. So let's just uh, say generate will return the, the first the, the, the first part and then the second part and we'll be joining all of that. So I guess uh, a nice way will be to just uh, join together a few bits of strings. Uh, I think I have to do that in Python. Um, we 
we'll call the, this one, this part the top parts. If anyone have a better name, I'll be happy to use it. Um, okay, looks nicer. way first I think I have to return it as well don't really like the indent here but I guess that's gonna be it. Uh, anyways, we'll be uh, changing uh, all of that uh, just after. This is just for yeah the stem. Perfect, thank you. Let's try that. Okay, obviously, uh, genuine write is not a function. Uh, can I write code correctly? Yes. Uh, ah, yes, okay. I have to build a new instance. I think it's like that in Python. It takes exactly one argument. Yes, okay, this has to be an array instead of two separate agreements to the join function uh, and I have to return that as well and it works again except we are seeing an extra new line character here that's because of that and that I think, oh no, it's, it's because of this one well, anyways, um, maybe there is a nice uh, syntax in Python for that. Uh, in, uh, in Ruby, for example, you, you can uh, have uh, this kind of uh, triple quotes uh, where, we where we use, uh, uh, I guess it's, um, it's uh, like that. Um, for example, and, uh, it will... Um, it will uh, just uh, pass uh, the, the entire block until uh, what I wrote here appears, um, but it will uh, indent it uh, perfectly. Uh, maybe there is something to do that in Python too, but uh, I don't know. Um, it looks nicer in my opinion, but anyways, I guess this one will be an expected indent. Yeah, okay, I don't like that. Um, so it has to be like this and obviously okay uh, okay oh no I don't have this one correctly Join 
like that. Okay, here we go again. Uh, so that's nice and all. Uh, let's keep the generate stem uh, like this for now. Um, but what I would like to do now is to rewrite generate body. So we just specify. Um, so we'll just write um, the, the 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 shape of the. the uh, we'll be omitting the the eyes and mouth and all the things for for now, uh, just so we get to to try to to generate that uh, programmatically. So, I believe uh, we have to take a width uh, will be that one, which is the maximum width of the pumpkin. which is 44, okay. So let's just take a parameter with a default value of 44. So maybe later we can uh, change the pumpkin size too. Um, okay, so what I want to do uh, is that I want to write first um, all the top part of the, the, pump, the pumpkin here, uh, which will be the, the width of that uh, we spaced before. Uh, and then uh, one less space here, and then uh, one other less less space here. So we can we can get the shape the shape uh, drawing, and then I will just write complete lines of 44 width uh, full of uh, at the, of this jar, uh, and then uh, we have to do the same the other way around. around. So uh, let's make some more function uh, because. I like to separate the, the code. Um, so we'll be joining this time Okay, so I just give the width. Um, I should as well take a, a parameter here for the width since I'm using a class and I will be, and I will be using the width everywhere. Uh, so just assign that here and we can, we can use that as an attribute of our class uh, and avoid that. So, okay. Uh, Let's keep that here. I need to remove the So I'll start with the middle, which is the most easiest, easiest part. And we'll implement the other one just after. Um, We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, I can guess this is uh, somewhat uh, one third of maybe maybe a bit less of the eight, and this one, and this one, a bit more. This one is full with some, okay, so that's that. Okay, looks great. So we have an eight as well, um, which is so the middle. Uh, I just want to write full lines like that, um, and I want this to be one third of the of the size of the pumpkin. So uh, for in our example uh, with uh, eight of uh, eighteen, uh, that would that would be uh, six. 
So I'll be I'll be doing just that. Um, I'm just writing an underscore there for just for for telling uh, it's uh, I could have a, a, a variable here uh, which will tell the 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 number from the range, but uh, I don't don't think I need to use that uh, right now, so I won't be using it. So I just write underscore, so it's clear to that uh, I'm not using it. Um, I think I can write that. Let's try it. Okay, it works. So in Python, you can uh, multiply a number by a string and it will display the, the string uh, the number of times you specified. So quite handy there. Um, So again, I have to join all the lines with uh, the new line separator. Um, let's just do that for now. And we'll return just empty strings for okay so let's try this command that command that as well uh, okay awesome so uh, if I did this correctly, we'll just have uh, the stem displayed and then just the middle of the, um, the body. So this is uh, this part without uh, anything inside. Um, so let's do that. We'll try. Uh, yes, no, okay. I'll get that. And I made a mistake here too as I want to take parameters and I send those to my class and uh, not hard code them because otherwise uh, why get the parameters in the first place? Uh, okay, I guess this is because Not allowed to do that. Okay, and this is okay. Can do that. So I'll have a look at the dot because maybe I'm not using it correctly. Okay, so oh, the, the division operator returns a float. And there is this operator in Python which will return an integer. Uh, so just to to explain uh, 
yeah, thank you. Uh, someone gave the, the answer in the chat. So let, let me just explain that. Uh, this is because uh, when we divide uh, some number by another, uh, we might not um, have an integer at the end. For example, if I try to divide uh, 5 by 3, uh, the, the, the answer won't, won't be uh, an integer. So um, because it will have a, a comma and decimal, and decimal part. Um, and looks like Python by default when you when you use the slash operator to to, to divide uh, something will then return a float. Uh, so we have the decimal part uh, in most language. Um, by the way, uh, this will uh, this will return an uh, an integer winding down uh, truncated for the for the decimal part. For example, if I try to divide. Uh, uh, 19 by 3, uh, I, I would get 6, uh, not uh, 6 uh, dot uh, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Um, This is not the case here, uh, but we, because we want the, the winding uh, to be able to, to express that at, at a range, because, uh, because obviously uh, a range cannot be, uh, cannot be uh, with a decimal number of, um, of things I can do. Uh, I can I can do an operation for three and a half things, for example. Um, so let's do that. Um, so this operator will ensure we, this uh, this uh, expression will return an integer, which we can use to um, to do the range. And uh, the zero is optional in my case because uh, by default it will start from zero. Uh, so I guess this will work. Okay. So exactly as planned. Uh, we now have the stem of the pumpkin and, um, and the, the middle of the, the, the body. So now let's try to do the shape above and below. Um, one nice thought I, uh, I have already is that um, the, the bottom will be exactly the same logic as the, as the top, uh, except it's reverse. So I will create a function for that, uh, which would return me uh, an array uh, with uh, all the strings uh, for the top, for example. Uh, and we use uh, this function in the generate body top function. Uh, and we use the, this function in the generate body bottom function, but we reversed the array before, so uh, it uh, comes in the right order. So let's try to let's try to do that. Uh, So I'll write a function like that, just to generate the lines. Uh, and let's put that here. We turn nothing for, for now. So the generate body top function will be using exactly like that, um, and be joining the return of this function. So. This function will be a helper to, to generate the, the, the lines and uh, we'll be joining the, the lines together to, to get the top of the, the body. And we'll do exactly the same here, except we will reverse that, I guess, in red that. Just to check. Um, So now I have to write this function, which will be something like that. But we need to modify this line this time to, to include spaces. So basically, we want the, the last line of it to have uh, Two widths, uh, two widths left and the, the width. Um, actually, I guess it's easier to generate this uh, uh, the the bottom uh, the bottom. So we we'll do exactly that. 
on a invert the order here. Hop. So basically, what I did is that uh, I implemented the uh, generate body top and generate body bottom in terms of uh, generate body bo bottom lines. Uh, so I can just write uh, code uh, once. Um, by the way, uh, I, I see some uh, comments in the chat uh, and uh, help, helpful comments as well. Feel free to ask questions uh, also if uh, I'm going too fast or if anything is unclear or if you want me to explain something in particular or if you, are, or if you have great idea for, for this program. Uh, I'll be happy to, to read that and, uh, and react, on React uh, accordingly. Um, so what I want to be doing here is that uh, I will need the line number there uh, because I will use that to remove uh, some uh, some of those characters, characters uh, every time. So basically, we will start from there. Let's say we for the first one we do not want to to remove any char, so that's perfect because line number will be zero the first uh, the first iteration of this range, and then we will remove um, one uh, one of these char each time and replace it uh, by um, by a space. So uh, what I can do uh, is I can first generate the correct number of space, uh, which will be uh, line number. So let's do that using the same trick as before, multiplying the line number by the space character as a string. So we get a string uh, containing exactly the, the, the right number of space. Uh, which will be zero on the first time, uh, which is perfect. And then uh, we need to append uh, remaining uh, add characters uh, to the to the line. Um, so let's do that. Uh, and this time, will this will be the width of the of the pumpkin minus two times the the line number because we want to remove uh, one of those at the start on one of those at the end. So it looks nice. So this will be uh, self width minus two time line number. So uh, I think this is okay. Let's try that. Um, okay, okay. Okay, I removed. STR object of no attribute reverse because I'm returned. Okay, I just want to return lines here because I won't be joining them right now. Can only join on iterable. What is that? Let's debug this. I guess this is because of the reverse. Uh, maybe I have to force it to be a list. non tight object is not terrible. Okay, so I'm missing a return somewhere. Just print it. We'll see. So we have lines. Um, Looks nice. And why doesn't this work? Oh, I guess reverse is reversing the 
the array, but uh, not returning a, a, a copy, and that's why. Um, just let me check. And we have a reversed function, which looks nicer. OK, so I guess it's that. Uh, ju just uh, let us check uh, for the sake of uh, debugging. So basically, I'm printing lines on lines.reverse. Uh, I was expecting the reverse function to return a new array uh, reversed. Uh, but it looks like it's not the case. It's mutating the lines array on reversing it in place. So basically, this returns nothing. So if I would want to do that, I would have to print lines again so uh, in this in this case it will print uh, the lines in, in order first uh, then known uh, and then uh, the lines uh, reversed uh, just uh, let's let let's try so we can see what i mean if i can write code so basically just as i said there is the line there are the lines in correct order um, then uh, known, then the line in reversal order. So we won't be using that. Uh, let's just do use the reversed function, which appears to return a new iterator. So we can uh, so it acts uh, as an array basically. Uh, so we don't have to create uh, to mutate the lines uh, array. Uh, oh. I guess that's good. OK, we just have um, missing some line returns. OK, so that's a pumpkin. Uh, I think uh, I have to, to remove uh, characters uh, for the for the first time too because the that pumpkin looks a bit weird uh let's let's see uh, what it looked like before yeah it was nicer oh it's removing two a time okay okay um so let's uh, let's modify uh this function so we remove uh, two times more characters. And we um, we start from one. Uh, so let's just uh, use the line number plus one uh, in uh, That, uh, that name, uh, just trying to um, uh, extra parameter, extra parenthesis on line 36. I don't think so. Or maybe it was uh, uh, just uh, the year we did before. So uh, just a uh, line. Let Let's name that um, spaces uh, before. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, so as I said, it would be line number plus one, uh, and we want to remove two chars at a time. So. Let's multiply it by two. So uh, I just uh, name that uh, around because uh, even if we don't write the spaces uh, after the uh, at the end of the line because uh, it's uh, it's useless uh, because the the spaces are just used to to indent. Um, 
the, the characters here. Uh, I feel it's a better name because it's also the space we let uh, after the pumpkin uh, if we see that at a, uh, from uh, from the perspective of the, of the the pumpkin width. Not sure if it was really clear, but uh, let's just name that uh, spaces around. Um, So uh, in this case, we will be removing from width uh, two times space, spaces around because we want to remove the, the spaces from the beginning of the line on the, um, uh, the, the, the empty space. Uh, we don't write uh, the, the, the empty space as space characters, but uh, we still need to remove some more add characters to, to be sure we, we end up with the correct shape. So let's try that. Um, Okay, looks a bit nicer, but I don't like that. I think we have to remove to be a bit uh, a bit less aggressive and not remove two characters each time, but maybe uh, one time uh, over two. Let me let me see. So here we have two, two more. Okay, no, it's two more each time. Oh, the, the first one is just one, and then it's two. Okay, um, let's try that. So we we'll replace these two by. Uh, so. Hello, cozy panda. Um, okay, nice. Uh, I hope you, you learn a, a singer or two here. Uh, by the way, I don't, uh, I really don't know um, about uh, about the, the programming level uh, you you all have. So let really let me know if I, if I'm going too fast or too slow, maybe. Um, so I can uh, I can uh, adapt uh, a bit and explain more things if uh, if needed. Because uh, uh, I'm feeling I'm going. Uh, quite fast uh, with uh, variables, uh, function, and basically all the, the basic con constructs in, uh, in programming and uh, just assuming everyone understands it, but it might not be the case. So just let me know if, uh, if, uh, if, you, want me, if you want me to, to, to go into more details. So uh, basically uh, what I was doing uh, was removing uh, one less character for the first line, so let's do that. Um, I guess I can write that. not really a fan of this kind of code. I prefer clearer syntax. Um, okay, uh, that doesn't exist in Python. In Python. So let's just do uh, it in a cleaner way, uh, I think I can do that. Um, This I can wait. No. I can use tunnel in, in Python. Yeah, the, maybe the program was complaining for other. It was complaining for 
another syntax thing. Okay, it's a bit different. Um, I go with so I can write that if I one if I number equal zero else two. Uh, that seems to be the Python way. Okay. I still don't feel it. Uh... Oh, that's because I didn't account for the fact that um, that uh, we didn't um, remove two chars on the first time. So uh, let me explain. Uh, yeah, thank you. Found it on the internet. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, looks uh, looks nicer by the way. Um, so basically, the problem here is that uh, I, I uh, try to, to remove only one character for the, for the first time. So basically, uh, uh, let, let, let's look at the bottom because uh, it's uh, we we wrote the, fun the function for the bottom and just uh, reversing it for, for the top. So basically, I'm removing one character only on the first time and then i'm removing line number uh, which will be uh, one uh, uh, well uh, two in this case because we uh, we started removing uh, we were incrementing the, the line number by one but that means here we, we are moving four characters instead of just three um, Uh, so let's fix that. Um, so let me think of a better, better way of doing that instead of doing just doing when when not. Uh, I'd rather prefer something more expressive. Um, so, what can we do here? Uh, we saw doing weird stuff. Um, So yes, it's one, two, two, two. So uh, just um, okay. So let's uh, let's comment that uh, on try again. So basically, on the first time when line number is zero, we want one space, so we can just have one space. And then when line number is one. We want three space, which is two times line number plus one. And then uh, when uh, line number uh, would, would be two, we need one, two, three, four, five space. So it's just line number times two plus one. Uh, so it's uh, way better than that. Uh, let's do that. Okay, much simpler as well. We like that. Okay, it looks great. Um, so we have the basis for pumpkin, except this one is not centered at all, uh, but we'll fix that later. So now that I have that, um, it's a nice shape on all. Uh, but we'll need to, to write the eyes and uh, other things. And uh, also, uh, I'd like to, to, to begin some experiments with uh, changing the height and width of the printing so we can see if our program uh, works well or just choose uh, variables for the sake of it, but uh, not in the correct way. So uh, let's try that, that first. Uh, just remove the stem for now because uh, I don't want to mess with that for now. Uh, so I can take it out. 
we will move this code as well because we don't use it anymore. I can just go out here if I want an example. Um, and uh, let's remove that uh, to get, uh, Okay, we'll watch it later. Um, so let's try. Um, I'd love to be able to try with the different parameters uh, directly from the program arrangements. So let's do that. Uh, I just have to Google how to get uh, program parameters in Python because, I, as I said, I didn't work Python for a long time. So I can't remember. And that's uh, we have to import the size module and we have size for size dot rv and obviously this will be strings uh, so we need to convert that to integers uh, let's do that I can use the in function for that, I guess. It's okay, that's nice and all. And it doesn't go here at all because these are parameters to the pumpkin generator constructor. Uh, oh no. That's bad. Uh, that's not and we are supposed to, to use objects. So the name of a constructor if in Python is I need. Just move that here. And we can go this way. Okay, so just let me explain what I did. Um, the function I created here uh, is a special function. Uh, it's called a, a constructor for those who are not used to uh, uh, object programming, um, which ba is basically used to, to, to create a, a new object. Um, in our case, the pumpkin generator is a class, so we can get object of the class pumpkin generator uh, object object of the of the class are called instances. Uh, so when we put a new instance of pumpkin generator, it will call this method. And this method requires all parameters, uh, which will then assign the parameters value as attributes of our instance. So basically we can create multiple pumpkin generators uh, with different parameters if we want. Uh, so just let, let's do that here. That's um, this part is all uh, I create a pumpkin generator. I just write the name on the parenthesis around it, uh, use it uh, like, like a function. Um, basically, these parameters will be passed to the to the constructor in the in the init function. So uh, I also remove the parameters from the generate function. Uh, I made this change because uh, it makes more sense uh, because the pumpkin generator is to be sold as an object of a wall, so we just initialize it with, uh, with its parameter, and then uh, it provides uh, functions, but it was weird to uh, have to call generate to, uh, to pass the parameters to, uh, to the generator. We want to initialize it before and use it after, and it will act uh, based on the, the attributes we, we just said before. So it's, uh, it's nicer, it's just a, a matter of uh, how code uh, is, uh, is organized. Uh, also, the passing parameters to generate is perfectly fine uh, if a uh, generator uh, needs some other parameter, which uh, which is not really an attribute of uh, of, a, of a pumpkin generator, but more something to customize the, the output or give an input parameter to this function. Um, it would make it would make sense to to give it a, a parameter here, but in this case, it, that's just. Uh, the, the attributes of the, the object, so it's it's better to, to give them in, in the constructor. So let's 
So let's try it. Uh, obviously, it doesn't it now doesn't work if I don't give parameters. Um, what was the its width first and eight after? Okay, so let's try to generate exactly the same permission as before. Um, I guess uh, our visual is something else. I like the name of the program. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let me explain. Um, I'm printing uh, sys.rv here. Uh, those are the parameters of the, the program. Uh, for the, some of you, if you, if you want some, it can it come from the, the C language um, with the, the main function who accepts uh, an uh, arc C parameter, which is argument counts, and uh, arc V parameters, which are argument values. Uh, so in the case of Python, arc V is directly an array, and maybe there is an arc C too, but we don't need it because we can just use the len function and get and get it. But anyways, um, that's how it works. On uh, by uh, convention, the first uh, the first uh, argument to the program is the name of the program itself. So I can uh, use uh, I can know I can know from the the, the, the main function that uh, the program running is called uh, pumpkin.pi. Uh, which I know, but the program may may not know. Yeah. So, so we just have to start from RV one and RV two. And uh, I printed the uh, RV, so you can uh, so you can see that. Uh, and if I don't, okay. Uh, so now you can see the the first part. The first uh, RV uh, value is the name of the program, and then. Those are the, the parameters I gave, uh, which, uh, as you can see, are strings. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, using the in function to uh, to translate that to integral data. So um, let's move on because it's already one hour in. And I want to be able to uh, to get to uh, the part when we, we do the fun thing with the eyes on on things. Um, Let's try. So uh, I wanted to experiment with a different pumpkin size. Uh, let's try a larger pumpkin, for example. So okay, this, this is a big pumpkin on a smaller. Bon, so this one will, will obviously be very buggy. So we might introduce uh, limits in the program uh, later to, to, to avoid the uh, output like this. Uh, I won't read that part because it will take a lot of time uh, to uh, to just write these uh, these conditions, and uh, I don't want to 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 bother with that, and prefer to focus on the on the interesting parts. Uh, but obviously, uh, it does some wet things if you, if we go too too low. So let's change the other one to uh, a smaller pumpkin. Yes, seems to work. So uh, that's nice. And uh, okay, so now that I can uh, generate uh, pumpkin shapes, I'd like to uh, to draw. Let's see. Let's try to to generate that. Actually, that would be nice. Um, so the stem will be uh, maybe. Uh, let's say. Uh, one fourth of the of the total eight, something like that. Mm, but it's not uh, it's not really the eight anymore. Then so maybe I, I have to do things differently. Uh, so what we did uh, before was splitting the the pumpkin in three parts: uh, this top part, this middle, this middle part, and this bottom part. So, uh, what I want to do now is to split it in four parts instead. So we'll have this one, which will be uh, a bit less than, uh, than the other. Um, 
Um, yeah, that's a, that's kind of tricky, uh, as well as uh, I my patent skill, uh, I guess. So we are four six six six. Um, you know what? Let's just let's let's just go with um, with one force, and each part will be one force, and we we we'll see. Um, so basically, uh, what I need to do is uh, change that to one force. Uh, the eight, uh, the default eight. Uh, we, we, will require parameters, so don't need defaults anymore, uh, because we want to generate pumpkins of all sizes. Um, and those were just defaults to, to, to try. Um, so, will we implement the generate stain? Uh, Let's do that as well. Um, um, what we want to do here is to center the bottom of the of the stem to the to the, to the middle of the pumpkin. So basically, uh, we need to decide on the, the stem width, uh, and then um, and then uh, just uh, put that in the middle. So we have to insert spaces before, just as just as we did uh, in the previous part. And uh, I will uh, start by uh, removing some. Uh, uh, I guess th this time again, it's it's easier to to think about it in the reverse order, and then uh, we'll reverse the string. Uh, so let's let's just do that. So let's see let's see it as a. Um, uh, I'll stop messing with that, and just move it in the code. So. So let's say we want something like that. Or we can have a, a fixed aid, a fixed eight stem, which uh, feels nice as well, I guess. Let's let's try with that. Uh, so obviously it, it will be a bit different. Um, as I was saying, I think it's easier to think of it uh, in the reverse order. So. The, the, the first line we will generate is this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll use the, the eight as well. So maybe uh, uh, we're going to say uh, the first two, or maybe uh, the first, uh, yeah, the first two seems good. The first two will be, um, will be just, uh, just uh, going top, but not, uh, will not we, we won't be changing the, the, the spaces number around it, around it for now. Um, maybe we'll adjust that later, but my, my thought is that uh, if we get a, a really big uh, pumpkin, um, it will uh, it will go really well to have, uh, for example, if I use the half the, the, the height of the stem, here, uh, uh, it, will, it will look squared uh, on, uh, on larger, larger pumpkins. So let's try uh, just go here. Uh, so let's try to use a, maybe maybe we'll use a, a fixed number for the stem from now on. We'll see if uh, if it works well with uh, larger pumpkins as well. Um, so I have time to to try to do the A's thereafter. Um, so let's say basically uh, the the height of the pumpkin will include the stem size. Uh, stem size uh, will be. Uh, will be four, so we'll be uh, removing the stem eight. Uh, I just make that an attribute as well, even if it's hard coded right now, so I can use that uh, in other computation and maybe introduce a parameter later or compute that or something like that. Uh, okay, let's do that for now. Um, so basically, uh, self.8 self uh, 
that's not what we want anymore. Uh, let's just do um, a body eight method, uh, which will return the eight minus the stem eight. So we can use that, and uh, that would uh, that would be well. Def. Um, Okay, done. And use that instead of um, I think in Python there is a, a nicer way to do that. Okay, nice. Uh, and we're gonna use some nice feature of Python 2, uh, which is called decorators. Uh, won't go into the details, but basically it will uh, allow to alter the, the behavior of the, the method it's, uh, it's applied to. So I will have the add property decorator. And basically body H will become a property of this, uh, of this class instead of an of a method, uh, and then I can just use this without the parentheses as it was an attribute of the, the class and not a, not a method, uh, which uh, just looks nicer. Uh, uh, maybe I, I can try to explain the, the, the decorator singer in, uh, with another example. Um, So basically, uh, okay, let me let me show you. Um, I got an idea. So I'll, I'll write a, another program just, just for showing off uh, what a, a decorator is uh, in, a, in another context. Uh, so just to do that uh, really fast. Um, uh, so basically, uh, I write a function called my decorator. And this function will do something weird, weird because uh, it will define another function inside. Um, and uh, we, we will return the, the function, uh, the function uh, just, uh, just after. So it will have to accept a function as a parameter too. So let's do that. Um, uh, uh, it might be in clear form, but I try to, to, to explain uh, why it's cool. Um, so basically, so what I did, uh, I wrote a function which accepts a parameter of func, which will be a function. Inside this function, I define another function, which just print a message and then uh, call the original function we, we gave it. Um, 
and we return the its value so so we can use it so um let's do that no. let's create a function not decorate not decorated um i think it's just just checking if, I, if i'm doing well on the syntax um i think it's good uh, so So let's call first not decorated. Uh, this will obviously print not decorated function, but now we have a decorated function. Which will go that way. Uh, and so uh, I'll just call it as well. Okay, so uh, this one is not yet decorated, but uh, we'll see just after where, where we're going uh, with that. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, I have to put this parenthesis. And obviously, let's call main. Uh, okay, so that's cool and all. Um, and now a decorator can be used this way if i put the our bus character um, followed by the name of my decorator it will basically apply this function to this one so decorated will become uh, not the function we wrote here but in fact will be passed as a parameter to my decorator and we will use the the return of this function as the decorated function so uh, maybe it a bit way, but you you understand really fast when I execute this. Voilà. Uh, so we still see not decorated function, and then I thought we just called decorated on never use the direct call to my decorator or to this function. Uh, this function was uh, modified by the decorator, and um, uh, and thus uh, we see the ambient decorated. Uh, of course, you can do a lot more with that. With those than just uh, adding uh, side effects like uh, printing a string um, and um, the property decorator we used here uh, is just doing something like that uh, as well. Uh, so uh, that's a nice feature of uh, of Python. Uh, you can find that uh, in uh, another language as, as well. Uh, for example, in JavaScript, it's, it's called a, a closure. Uh, it's uh, it's often called a closure. Um, the closure of the, the, this, the, this decorator is a, is a closure. In fact, uh, it's a function which accepts and returns a function to alter its behavior. So uh, now that's done, let's remove that and continue using body eight everywhere. Um, okay. And uh, it has to be three there because we already removed the stem size from the body eight, from the eight, so it's not divided by four anymore. We just uh, we just removing the, the stem eight. Um, so uh, now we have the stem eight. We want to generate first this line, then this line, and then we will start to remove. Uh, spaces before the before the before printing those characters. So let's do that. Um, I guess we will do two loops. Will be nice. The first one uh, will be for printing uh, after stem eight. Um, I know. Uh, uh, I told you I would be using a fixed style, but it uh, seems easier to just uh, I'll fit for now because the same style, the stem eight is fixed anyway. Uh, so let's do that. So basically, the first one we want uh, are those, um, and uh, let's create another line here yeah. from. Uh, here we don't care about the line number we're referring to because 
to those in the middle in anyway. red. Uh, let's add a stem width attribute while we are well, well, we at it. Um, so you can use that. Um, so now uh, the stem need to have uh, spaces before it, and the number of spaces will be uh, basically half the size, the width of the pumpkin. So we get to the middle of the pumpkin, but we have to remove half the size of the of the of the, the, the stem to be able to write it in the in the correct place. So let's do that. Um, so line will be um, as I said, uh, it will be it will be first some spaces uh, which we can get by using the width. Uh, let's divide it by two. Uh, and then we have to, re to remove half the, the spaces, uh, half the size of the stem for, of spaces. So basically, that's the space amount. As, a, as we did, just multiply it by the space character as a string, so we get the correct number of characters. Um, and then I just uh, just do that. Um, okay, so mm, that will be the this part. Uh, we generated it first because we'll be reversing the the lines uh, just after because it's easier. Um, now for this part, I will need the line number as well. Um, and uh, we start uh, as as before because it's uh, because it, it would be reversed. We start with this one, so we just remove one more space. Um, let's just put that here so I can reuse the variable. Um, and remove those. Perfect. Um, well, as well, it's not strictly needed because of the operator priorities, but I feel it looks nicer on clear to everybody to, to read that uh, this way. Um, so for the sake of code, uh, code readability, we'll do that. Um, so that's great, and now uh, we remove uh, one space the first time, two space the second time, etc. Et uh, so we'll be minus line number plus one because we want to start removing spaces. On the, on the first uh, the first round of this loop, which will start at zero, so let's do that. Um, Yeah, we use the reverse directly because uh, I'm fine with mutating lines. It's just a temporary variable to to control data when we are doing it. So just to reverse it and return it uh, instead of using a reverse like we did there. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of this code because uh, I have two loops which uh, which are doing basically the same thing. Uh, those two lines are quite some repeats, and I feel uh, we'd love to have uh, just one loop. So let's do that and just change the, the spaces count. Uh, so we can keep that. And then uh, when line number exceeds, 
some uh, ex exits after eight of the, the stem. So basically, when we generated this line and this line, we'll start to remove uh, spaces at this moment, but otherwise we'll use middle space count. So let's just uh, remove everything here. Remove that. Name it space count. And uh, it will be uh, middle space count if line number It's too long. Uh, just uh, just just do that, and if invert this condition, uh, so basically we'll start uh, when line number is uh, exactly uh, two. So uh, because it starts at zero, we have to uh, to to use uh, this operator in, instead of just uh, using that. Uh, so we have to be a good number. And then, uh, if we see it after stem eight, we'll start to remove one space more per, per line number, um, minus uh, per line number above the the, the stem uh, the stem middle eight. So basically, uh, spaces count uh, will retrieve will retrieve after eight uh, from the line number because uh, this line, we just want to remove one space, um, but it's the third line. Um, so looks good. Uh, and I have uh, to remove, uh, I think I have to go this way because we're starting from zero. Okay, let's try that. Okay, awesome. Uh, I think so. Okay, so almost on the first try, uh, we have now drawn our little stem. Um, looks good, looks pretty good, um, except uh, I'm giving a weird, uh, weird size to, to this pumpkin. Uh, let's try other things uh, just so we can see. And let's try a really big one. Uh, let's try. A uh, okay, and maybe not that much. Uh, okay. So okay, so basically the the fixed uh, the fixed uh, size stem uh, still looks good. So uh, I think we we're gonna keep it. Um, I'm so I don't really like the the the, the square shape here, but I guess uh, we'll have to 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 deal with that. So. Uh, that being done, uh, I'd like to, to draw the, the A's now. Um, so we have to think a bit about the, the, the approach we want. Um, maybe, maybe a nice way is just to generate the shape first, 
I think that's we're gonna be doing doing because uh, we already have code for that, and I don't really want to clutter the the, the shape generation the shape generation with uh, weird logic uh, in the middle of our loops, uh, depending on the line number and, and all and all, uh, just to to insert space. So we we'll basically be generating all the lines, and then uh, we'll uh, try to uh, go alter those lines and remove the replace the, the, the characters we want uh, with spaces to, to just draw, to just draw the, the eyes. Um, so that would be uh, that would be nice and uh, the code would be simple I guess. Uh, so basically uh, it's cool because it's always oh no it's uh, it's one one anymore. Um, it's cool because um, let let's say it starts here, and we will see after. Uh, so basically, I can just alter the the, the top uh, the generate body top function uh, to generate this shape, and then we'll remove uh, the the eyes the eyes in positions. So basically, uh, we will need to uh, to draw. Um, I believe eyes are basically half the half the eight of the of the top parts. Uh, let's say it's half the eight because uh, it will uh, it will go nicely. So basically, we don't alter the the first half lines, the first half of the lines, and then uh, we start um, with uh, one uh, size one on each size, and then it increases the size by two for each eye. Okay, so basically what I'd like to do is just take the output uh, of the generate uh, top function uh, and uh, start to remove characters uh, after the after the after the first lines. So let's do that. Um, so we'll alter generate body top. Um, This one. And now I can just read this there. It feels good because uh, there is not so much logic in, in that function. So I just uh, just get the the shape and uh, we'll uh, we'll alter that. So uh, basically, what I said is we want to go from half the, the size of it. Uh, so let's say it's there, and uh, I have to compute the the position of uh, each of uh, of the middle of each eye, basically, and uh, we'll uh, expand the spaces as we did before. And uh, I I hope it will look nice. Um, as always, if you guys have some questions or remarks or, or suggestions about uh, how I should do this, feel free to, to, to post in the chat. Um, so basically, what I will do here, just, um, let's, it's not really line number because uh, I'll be going. Um, well, I'll just choose the the, the length of the length of line, so I don't have to uh, to. For example, if if I choose a letter to to not choose the body height uh, divided by three, but uh, divided by four, other value uh, later, I don't have to go and modify this function to just say, okay, it was. Uh, the total size divided by three, by three, or no, I want to divide it by two because uh, that's a uh, that's an implementation detail of uh, generate body bottom line, so it doesn't feel uh, uh, right to to just uh, leak this implementation detail in this uh, in uh, in this function. So I'd rather uh, use start. Uh, no, that's not this one. Um, okay, this this one. 
So we'll start uh, from uh, at the, half the size we said, so uh, the, that would be length of the lines divided by 2, uh, and we'll go until length of the lines. Uh, I think it's like that. Uh, no. So, uh, how can I get the I position? Uh, it's basically so there. There is basically one uh, one third of the. No, it's a bit different than that. The middle is. Uh, Characters there. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's not exactly what what I'm looking at. There is the the number of uh, characters. Per, before the, the, the one space here, the number of characters in the middle and the number of the characters after, even if they are not space here. It's just so, so we can get the, the position of the eyes. Um, so let's try with uh, something weird. Uh, not sure if it, it, if it will look great, but we'll try. Uh, let's say we have um, we have uh, this, uh, we have, uh, it's basically uh, divided by three. So we have, uh, so the middle of the, the, of the eye, of the first eye, uh, so the left eye, this one will be, uh, will start uh, after one third of the pumpkin width. And then uh, we'll have one third of the pumpkin width between eyes. And then uh, the other one will start uh, just like here. Or I can think that different key and don't care about the spaces between the, the eyes and then just look at that. Uh, I think it's better. So that's 13 of 44. So that's basically that's a bit more than third. Okay, let's let's go with uh, one third. So what, what I will do is that uh, I'll draw the middle of the first eye uh, in, uh, at one third of the pumpkin size. Uh, so I'll, I'll just have to do, I'll have to alter the, the, the line uh, from one third of the pumpkin size. And then uh, from uh, going from the end, uh, from uh, one third from the, from the total length as well. So basically, um, just just to try to, to to write the code for the first line, and then we will see. Uh, let's say we have a line uh, which is uh, let's uh, le well, uh, let's say, let's take this. Uh, I just want that. Okay. So let's take this, um, so I can explain. Basically, uh, the line that's the line we want, almost. And that's the line we have uh, from the return of a uh, general body, body bottom line function. So basically, uh, what I want to say is that uh, I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll go at uh, one, one third of this, uh, this string. So just uh, let's try. Well, I'll, just do I'll just comment that. Okay, so we can see it. So uh, let's do that. What I want to do, let's say, uh, let's just search on Google before how to replace the characters in a string.
Yes, okay, so just learn then that uh, strings are immutable in Python. That means I can modify it directly. But uh, what I can do uh, is do that. Uh, okay, let's put this code here for now. Uh, so line charts will be list uh, of lines. Uh, I believe that there, there is a, a way to iterate. Uh, uh, I'll find that because it's uh, it's nicer. Mm. Oh, but we only want to start uh, there. Okay, right. So basically, uh, I'm converting the line to a list of uh, single characters, um, so I can replace elements in this uh, in this list. Uh, which I couldn't, uh, I can, I can do in the string directly. Uh, for example, in, uh, in C, I just could write, uh, I, I just could write a uh, line. Let's finish that code first, so you guys don't get too confused uh, about what I, what I'm doing. Uh, in C, I, I would happily write uh, that, uh, uh, but uh, you can do that in Python. So uh, just uh, just doing that, uh, I'm getting the individual characters, and then uh, I replace uh, the one at uh, one third um, by uh, by a space, and the one at uh, one third from the end by a space. So let's do that. Um, let's go each shape. Shape lines, yes, perfect. So we have that. Okay, and we have lines which will be the output. Uh, so basically, uh, we want to replace line chars at one third. Uh, so that's the uh, one third of the width of the pumpkin, so let's do that. Uh, let's say we want to space in there, and uh, we want to replace uh, the one from the end as well, so going, uh, going the other way. So just uh, do um, No, that won't work because um, because uh, because I don't put spaces. Uh... Oh yeah, that will work actually. Yeah, that will work. And just say the lines. Just add our new line in the in the in a new array. So. We are just joining the, the individual characters in the in the line charts together with empty strings, which is just nothing. So um, let's go like that. Okay, so that will work for the first one, but we'll have to change that for the, for the other ones. Um, let's try that. Uh, I believe it will print uh, something um, which will look like this, but uh, there will look, uh, there will be uh, like that instead. Uh, I'll stop modifying my example, but uh, uh, there, there won't be the, the correct number of spaces uh, each time, but uh, we'll fix that just after. So uh, let's do that. Uh, Obviously, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, we we just uh, did what I, what I said, but I forgot we started to iterate only 
uh, beginning from the half of the lines we generated, but we need to put back the first half of the lines in um, in the lines array we are we are, we are returning because it won't work otherwise. So uh, I think I can write something like that. Just um, just take the first um, the first from shape lines. So let's say we want that. Um, Think it's like this. Uh, it's a it's a it's a one one syntax for for Python, which basically say uh, take a splice of the shape lines array uh, from uh, zero until the the middle position because uh, the length divided by two. Uh, I feel it's this way, but maybe not. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Um, so now it's fixed. We just uh, we just sliced uh, the first uh, half we were missing uh, to initialize uh, our lines. So we take the first half, and then uh, we iterate about the and the uh, and the rest of the lines. And uh, and it's nice and all. Um, um, as I said, uh, I'm not a huge fan of using uh, the range syntax here because we want to uh, iterate over shape lines uh, well the remainder of shape lines uh, so i guess we can instead do something better uh, there are iterators in python which are just too good as well because i can't remember uh, because i want the index um, as well so the, the line number okay we have to, to use enumerate, so I can rewrite the for, the for line as for um, line number line um, and we take this one um, this time we go the other one the other way around we go we start from at the size and go until the end and because i don't write anything like right there uh, python uh, automatically uh, uh, understands that i want to, to go to the end uh, i'm not uh, i'm not uh, forced to to write uh, line uh, shape lines uh, there uh, oops. so let's do that uh, So let's do that. Okay. I feel it's better. Let's try. So it's good. Uh, and now we need to start adding more spaces. Um, uh, in a, in a subsequent uh, lines because uh, I always added one, but in fact uh, we want uh, more than one. Um, and maybe the, this uh, this logic of um, of just uh, of just converting the line to uh, to an array of characters uh, is not the best way to 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 do that. I think it was a uh, Compute the, the 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 number of space we want. Compute the number of um, the number of uh, characters there there was before the number of space we want. Just uh, splice the the original line, um, which is uh, which looks like that. So we'll just uh, get the first part of this line. So basically, for the first line, it will go up to there. So I'll just get this part of the string. Add after that concatenated with uh, the good number of spaces, and then um, and then uh, write all the characters from the original line uh, from this position until the position of the next i, uh, and uh, do the same as before. I'll just uh, write the correct number of space for the, for the i and the remaining characters. Um, let's try that. So basically, we don't want to use lane chars anymore. We just define the, 
we name that shape line as well. So we can, this won't be great. Uh, let, so I said uh, on the first on the first uh, iteration, so when line number will be zero, uh, we want one space. So uh, that would be the number, uh, let's say, let's uh, create another variable, uh, which is, which would gonna be line number, uh, which will be two times the line number plus one because on the second time we want the the first uh, the first space we we added uh, in the beginning plus one space on each side. So <coughs> uh, so that would be line number times two, and we add one to that because we want to start with one. Um, so I believe this work, uh, and then we want line is going to be shape line. So we ju we just place um, as we did for for the for the array. It uh, I think it works for strings as well, and it will return a splice of the string. Uh, let's just do that. So basically, we take the shape line from the zero position, so that's uh, here, until this position when we start to insert spaces, uh, and um, the position when we want to insert spaces is um, one third of the width. But we have to retrieve um, the number of additional spaces we want because uh, it will work for this one but uh, next time uh, the the second line will, will be will look like that so uh, so i need to remove uh, so one third it's there and then i need to remove one by line number uh, by additional line number so let's just remove line number from that and I guess it will work. Uh, so it's cool and all. And now we add the correct number of space. Let's remove that. Okay. Uh, and then we have to put uh, the middle part which will uh, be again we'll go directly in there and find uh, find uh, find those characters um, so uh, it will go from um, This position when, where we started plus the number of spaces we wrote. So this will be this position, for example, or this position will work uh, in ways. Um, and uh, let, let's try to just draw the, the first type for, for now. And uh, I'll add the, the other one uh, just after. Uh, but uh, I really want to see that working. And uh, so we'll take uh, the, the shape line uh, to the end uh, again. Uh, I hope this works. Okay, cool. Uh, so we have a pumpkin with an eye. And now we have to add another one. And then I think the, the the time, uh, the time span uh, for this live coding session will end. Unfortunately, I would have loved to draw the other parts too, but um, let's say it will be left an, uh, as an exercise for you if you guys want to experiment uh, with that. Um, I'll publish uh, a GitHub gist uh, with, the, with the code uh, and uh, give you the link in the chat if you want to read the code uh, and experiment with that uh, after after the session, so you can uh, you can play with it. Um, let's just add the other i. Uh, so basically, uh, we want to add to this line not until the end, but until the 
un petit là de, 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 de ce one de, de lens uh, minus one third of the of the, the, the width. So let's do that. Uh, so this will be the width minus. So okay, for this one it's it's a bit harder uh, because we want uh, so how much is there? Uh, just uh, put a bit here. No. Okay, should look like that. Um, we want to go. So this is the total size minus one third, and we want to remove the additional spaces we add, uh, which is line number again, um, because uh, we had uh, only one space in this place and one space in this space, so it's uh, two space, but uh, we have uh, line number times two there, so just half the space we had, so it's line number. Um, So I think it will work, uh, and then we add the spaces again, and then that's going to be um, what did I? Okay. It's not uh, really pretty the code I wrote here. Yeah. Should be, uh, should be, should be better. Uh, but uh, let's continue with that because uh, I don't have many time anymore. Um, so I completed the middle part. Uh, that's what this line does. Added back the good number of spaces, um, and then we just have to find. So basically, um, it will be this position from the, we, we want to, to get the original characters again. So it will be from this position when we start creating the space uh, or this position or anywhere. Um, oh, not sure of that. Yes, okay, see, that, that position plus the size of Spain until the end, and I think it works. Let's try. Not really. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, what, did I, what did I did wrong? Okay. So that's the first part, and oh yeah, yeah, okay. And it's just to make variables because uh, we want to be able to get that. Um, so that would be the second right. I start position. Let's do that.
can I copy code? Okay. Uh, so that's going to be this one. Okay. Then the spaces, then um, the start position plus the spaces count, and still the right a start position, which will be the width minus one third to get uh, here minus uh, by number. I have to remove one as well because uh, I want to go one more back, and because in this case, in the, the for the first time. Uh, the, the space we need to, ins to insert here, but it goes after, on this case, if I take one third off, I get to this character, but I want to go right here. So I have to remove one more. Um, so I think that's good. And now I want to take the good space count, which is cool. And uh, that will be the right taste start position plus the space count again until the end of the string. And I guess this time it will work. Yeah, okay, cool. So uh, I think that's gonna be the, the, the end of this uh, live coming session. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I wasn't able to write a pumpkin generator which can generate uh, full pumpkins uh, in less than. Uh, in less than two hours, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that anyways and uh, feel, uh, feel it was uh, interesting. Uh, let me know in the, in the chat if you have uh, any uh, any feedback about, about it uh, or if you if there is uh, there are something you, you, you want to see in the future or ideas or anything or suggestions. Uh, I'd be happy to, to, to hear to your feedback because, uh, uh, as I said, it's uh, my first live coding session, uh, which I was uh, really happy to, to do with, uh, with you. Uh, and it's been uh, cool. Uh, I, uh, I hope you, you, you've been able to, to follow me uh, along this, uh, this, uh, this thing. Uh, and by the way, uh, Alexandra told me um, the next session uh, will occur uh, next month uh, on the 25th at the same hour. So be sure to to to, to come if you are interested. Uh, but sure about the, the team yet, or maybe we'll propose uh, uh, other languages. Uh, I hope you had a great time anyway. And just as I promise, uh, I'll put this code in a GitHub gist so you can get it um, and uh, modify it, uh, do whatever you want with that. Um, So here is the gist link. Um, you can get so you can get the code uh, and uh, feel free to to experiment and uh, modify it uh, and do whatever you want uh, with it uh, uh, anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoy that and uh, so see you on next time and that's going to be it uh, for me today. Uh, thank you everyone for for coming. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.